What an absolutely amazing trailer. So as you may know, the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has just been released and it's definitely breaking the internet. It has been such a long awaited trailer ever since the second movie came out and in the ending of this movie, we saw none other than Shadow the Hedgehog being experimented on in the second movie. And this was such a bittersweet ending because Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was such an amazing movie, but seeing this right at the end left us with an incredible hunger to want to see the third movie. And now, here it is. The trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 itself is an absolute masterpiece. It's even better than all of us expected, mainly because it shows a lot of the plot, but it doesn't show us everything like most of the animation trailers. It's such an incredibly well-made balance between showing us a lot and not showing us anything at all. And of course, the star of the movie is also seen for the first time in the trailer, and that is Shadow the Hedgehog. We see the first glimpses of this character and how his personality is going to be in the following movie. The Shadow the Hedgehog 3 official trailer is absolutely epic, and it shows us all of the things and all of the problems that Shadow had to go through when he was a kid, and basically saying to us that where Sonic found friends, Shadow only found pain. And this is why Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles go against Shadow thinking that he's gonna be an easy target, but when they meet him for the first time, and Knuckles tries to punch him, he sees exactly what they're in for. They see that this echidna is the most powerful one they have ever seen or encountered. In this flabbergasting scene of the trailer, we see how he's able to twist Knuckles' wrist with one single move and defeat him. He also defeats Sonic with such an incredible ease, and this makes them understand that he's not gonna be as easy as they thought, and they have to call for more backup, and that backup is no more than Dr. Robotnik. They're gonna ally themselves and ally forces to go against the most powerful echidna they have ever seen, and he's only one against the whole world. But as with any animated trailer, there is a lot of things they definitely miss. Things that because the trailer is very dynamic and very epic, you probably didn't see and missed. So this is exactly what I'm going to be showing you here today, guys. I'm going to be showing you the complete breakdown of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 official trailer with all the things you missed and the Easter eggs that you didn't see. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. At the beginning of the trailer, the first thing we see is, as usual, Sonic just running and running and running because that really makes him feel better. And we also hear the voice of Tom Lukowski telling Sonic that he has finally found his new family as we see Knuckles and all the other characters, friends of Sonic, running through the streets and buildings of London. But in one of these scenes that we see in this little part where Tom Lukowski is telling Sonic that all the things that happened to him in the past didn't let him change who he was, Tom removes a little bit of bush out of the way and unveils a wall painting. And in this wall painting, we see an owl, Sonic, well of course this is a reference to the first scene of the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie where we see Sonic running away from some echidnas that wanted to capture him and get his powers. And after some seconds of back and forth of them trying to capture him and Sonic running away from them because they were really gonna try to hurt him if they got him, he went straight running to the den of Longclaw the Owl. Longclaw the giant owl is the same exact owl that we see reflected in this wall painting that Sonic Sonic is looking at very sad, and this is the guy that saved his life by opening a portal to Earth where he would be able to escape, and he feels sad because he left Longclaw the giant owl alone in his world. Longclaw is actually the guardian of Sonic the Hedgehog during his early childhood, but she unfortunately met her end while sending Sonic back to Earth, like I told you guys before, in order to protect him from the arch enemies, the Echidnas. She was the one that made it possible for Sonic to be able to live longer because she knew that he would be far safer on Earth than on his own planet. Because of this, we see that Tom is trying to empathize with him, showing him his beginnings, and showing him that despite him having a very tough life, that didn't change his good character. Right after this scene, we get shown the real deal, Shadow the Hedgehog. We see the scene where he breaks out of his capsule that the gun ages were holding him in, and he defeats all of them and escapes. But this is, of course, a really vague scene because we are not shown how he got there in the first place, how he was created, why is he in a capsule, and why are all of the gun agents looking at him, and why are they protecting him so much? Well, Paramount Pictures did an incredible job because they didn't want to show us everything in the trailer. They wanted to save the real story, but the reason why we see Shadow right here
later is because of the events that transpired in Project Shadow. Project Shadow was an event that happens in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. It was a medical and military research program conducted by the United Federation around 50 years ago with the aims of achieving immortality and creating the ultimate weapon. The results of Project Shadow produced two creatures endowed with immortality. A prototype that I'm not sure if we're gonna see in the movie called Bio Lizard and the final product that we really see, Shadow the Hedgehog. However, the project was shut down by the military when it was deemed too dangerous, which indirectly resulted in the whole story of Maria Robotnik and Gerald Robotnik, the dad of Dr. Eggman. The beginning of this project was conceived over 50 years ago before the Black Arms arrival on Earth by the President of the United Federation at the time, under the excuse of achieving ultimate immortality for humankind. However, the true intent for the project was to use the results to develop a weapon of complete vastness. Then the president requested the presence of Professor Gerald Robotnik, the most brilliant doctor at the time. Gerald Robotnik then created a being with Black Doom's DNA, and that was Shadow the Hedgehog. But then something happened. Fearful of how dangerous and costly Gerald's experiment was becoming, the military plotted to take possession of Shadow. The top-ranking officials of GUN, who saw the research institution's uniqueness as hostile, arrived to take possession of Shadow's experiment. Sometime after the completion of Project Shadow, the ARK was taken by the gun soldiers, evacuating civilians and taking down researchers. During the attack, Gerald was putting his finishing touches on Shadow as gun special forces run to the ARK's laboratory, and Gerald had Maria Robotnik, his daughter, escape with Shadow. Shadow and Maria had an incredible bond. They loved each other a lot, but in the ensuing chase, Maria and Shadow got to escape, but unfortunately, Maria was taken by a soldier when helping Shadow escape. Taken down by the soldiers, Maria ejected Shadow to Earth in an escape pod with her last strength. Meanwhile, Gerald Robotnik made sure the escape pod was ejected safely towards Earth, and that's how Shadow the Hedgehog got to Earth. And then, he was taken again by the soldiers, and this is the scene that we see here in the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 trailer. This is the explanation of this scene and why these agents are watching Shadow because he's considered a very powerful being. On second 38 of the trailer, we see Shadow's hand inside the capsule going against the hand of another girl. Who is this girl that we see here? Well, this girl is actually Maria Robotnik, the girl that I just talked to you about. Maria Robotnik is the daughter of Gerald Robotnik and during the experiment that Gerald was creating, Shadow the Hedgehog developed an incredible bond with this girl. And this girl is actually the one who helped him escape, but because she was taken down by the soldiers, Shadow sworn vengeance against all of the Earth's population for taking down his most precious person on Earth. On minute 232 seconds of the trailer, we see Shadow riding a motorbike, right across the city battling Sonic the Hedgehog, but in one moment, right in this scene, we see that Shadow actually drifts with the motorbike and does such an incredibly cold drift, and this is actually a reference to the famous bike slide scene from a Akira, the movie released in 1988. Akira is such an incredible movie that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 had to give it a full reference with the bike drift. Not sure if we will see more Akira reference in the movie, but if we will see them, that will be great.